the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video secant 90 degrees minus theta and uh, cosecant 90 degrees minus theta when theta equals 45 degrees we have to prove that secant 90 degrees minus theta equals cosecant theta and cosecant 90 degrees minus theta is secant theta that is uh, secant 45 degrees and cosecant 45 degrees now let us take uh, a right angle triangle with uh, three vertices a b and c with 90 degrees at the vertex b now uh, we have taken uh, the 45 degrees as the reference angle so a is theta which is the 45 degrees so when we take uh, theta as uh, the reference angle then the side opposite to theta is the opposite side so that is uh, bc is the opposite side ab is the adjacent side and ac is the hypotenuse side as the reference degree is 45 we have to find out secant 45 degrees cosecant 45 degrees and then the secant 90 degrees minus 45 degrees and cosecant 90 degrees minus 45 degrees that becomes again 45 degrees 45 degrees so it is enough if we simply find out cosecant 45 degrees and secant 45 degrees that is nothing but uh, secant 90 degrees minus 45 degrees and cosecant 90 degrees minus 45 degrees now when uh, we have uh, the theta as the reference angle which is 45 degrees now the secant is defined as the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent when you have the 45 degrees the sides of the triangle satisfy some uh, characteristics let us measure a b and uh, let us measure b c we can notice that when a is 45 degrees then a b is one unit b c is one unit when a b and b c are one unit each then a c becomes square root of 2 1 square plus 2 square that is 2 take that uh, square root uh, that is square root of 2 now the secant theta is hypotenuse divided by the adjacent so hypotenuse is square root of 2 divided by adjacent that is 1 that is nothing but square root of 2 now cosecant theta is hypotenuse divided by opposite uh, that is square root of 2 divided by 1 it is square root of 2 now we have already proved uh, that uh, secant 90 degrees minus 45 degrees equals 45 degrees that is again square root of 2 now if you just want to you know use c as the reference angle then c becomes 90 minus 45 degrees so that is 90 minus theta so just for the practical purposes when you take c as the reference uh, angle then a b becomes the opposite uh, and b c becomes the adjacent so what is secant 90 minus 45 degrees when you take c as the reference that is hypotenuse by adjacent what is hypotenuse it is square root of 2 what is adjacent it is 1 
so that is square root of 2 what is cosecant 90 degrees minus 45 degrees that is if you apply the formula it is hypotenuse divided by the opposite now what is hypotenuse it is square root of 2 divided by opposite it is 1 that is square root of 2 so when you take uh, 45 degrees then you will be able to demonstrate that uh, secant 45 degrees equals cosecant 45 degrees and if you take the complementary angle also then it is the same because in the case of 45 degrees the complementary angle becomes the angle itself in the earlier example we used 30 degrees and 60 degrees for uh, uh, identifying uh, the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles so here we have specifically taken 45 degrees to highlight that when the angle 45 degrees is taken the angle and the complementary angles remain the same